my name is David Barragood. Um, I'm the senior ranger on Ayama. Uh, I've been a senior ranger now for four years. Well, the best part for me is um, actually looking after the environment. Well, I can say before being a ranger, as a fisherman, I, I always carry my rubbish back home, chuck it in the dump. So, when becoming a ranger, I was actually doing the things I used to do, but in a bigger spectrum now. So, um, and it's something that I love to do, and I'm sure I'm helping the environment and my community at the same time. The vessels uh, brings us out to um, places like Cap, Geba, and Sassy, remote places where we, we don't get to see when we don't have a vessel. Also um, gives us an opportunity to see um, the wildlife on this remote island. We uh, collect data from the Tel and Jugong, and we see a lot of changes in the hunters, um, how they approach us, um, and, to, and how they respect um, the turtle and dugong now. Yeah, we want a turtle nest. We just want a turtle nest here, and I think it's a green. A lot of the um, lot of the nests on this island, they um, they get predated by the guana. Guana um, digs up most of the nest here. But um, over on that island there, Geba, the the pigs. There's a lot of pigs there, and they they dig up most of the um, nests over there. As you can see, the um, the clip is, you know, a bit bit high um, for the um, green turtle to go up, or, or the ox ox build, a bit of a steep. So actually, when they when they actually come up, they actually see that the clip that is actually turned back and heading towards the beach, and probably uh, find a, find um, another place to actually come up. During um, turtle um, nesting surveys, we do around each of the islands. We tend to come across um, carcasses like this, where turtles don't survive after nesting. It could be because of a very old turtle, or it could be because of um, erosion. Usually the um, erosion causes the turtle to fall over, and they can't get back upright, and they die. Well, this is um, one of the weeds that we want to work on. We call it Mukar. This is um, a place where it's not far from Yam, the main village. People used to live here. And before um, this plant was introduced by the old people, um, the sisal, before it was um, under control, now because people buy ropes from the shops and it's, people don't harvest it anymore for traditional ropes. Now it's getting out of hand, and we're working on we're working with the um, community, trying to organize something to come out here and um, try and get rid of these um, sizes of this island. My name is Kevin Levi. I'm the Ranger Supervisor for the Central Cluster based on Puruma. So I look after the communities of Yam Island, Wanbrea Island and Puruma Island. Uh, some of the skills I've gained uh, since joining the program is um, stuff like learning how to uh, do a beach profile, um, measuring the sand shifts in the, the coastal beaches we have in our communities, um, especially in the Central Islands where we have the effects of erosion and um, just having that knowledge is very um, handy. And also um, coral monitoring. We did a snorkeling uh, skin diving course and also having a look at all the reefs around here in the central region and the eastern islands. Um, yeah, that, that's just some of the things I've learned so far. The community, they, they do think a lot about this, like, um, this community this ranger position has been a big helpful for them, like for the environment and stuff, because they're really well into the land and sea stuff, all the elders and yeah, all, all of the community members. Ranger is kind of a, like a workforce to help the people to reach the goal. But it's all about um, keeping the community strong and healthy. I, I see ranger is one of the, a protector of the land as well. It's a wise thing to do it. 
Kapu bailut children. Kapu bailut. Thank you, um, Taylor and Mr. Larry to help us here, the Rangers, to come here and talk to you about Ranger program. What we will talk about here today is um, jiggle and turtle management and also beach cleanup. Everybody is happy in our community that our Rangers is perform their duties, their role and their responsibility to, towards their job within the community. Being a female ranger is challenging working with um, men rangers, but they're like brothers to me. Some of them are my uncles and my older brothers, my cousins. But when we get together, it's big one of the family. The work the rangers are doing are immaculate. Um, we've seen a lot happening in our community since we had rangers on board. Yeah, working in partnership with other orga organizations, community and government are really tremendous. We've seen a lot with the beautification program, the beach patrol, um, the collection of data from Turtle and Dugong and the rubbish collection around the uninhabited islands here. Yeah, and um, it, yeah, the community have been really supportive, like doing work together with um, the Masigalgal prescribed body corporate. You know, it's really good for our community. And the good thing about this program is it's based on both areas land and sea. I love about rangers because we are actually looking after our country, you know, and it's been a privilege you know, that we're getting paid to look after our country. Because of the awareness of, you know, the ranger, they, the impact they, they put on the island, especially on gardening and how to live a sustainable you know, lifestyle in this remote area. Well, I can see rangers are a great assets to the community. The partnership that we have with our Tears to Tears RA rangers is incredibly important to my role as the uh, principal at the school. 21st century means that our kids are becoming more and more detached from the land. For me, the rangers are critical for us to, uh, a critical partnership for us in enabling our kids to know where our food's coming from. For instance, our garden project, uh, the greenhouse project that we're just establishing here behind me. And then also things like our chicken program. And then where our environment, so the, the rangers are coming in, talking to our kids about turtles, uh, turtle hatching, looking after our uh, erosion and our banks, uh, and ensuring that our environment is staying uh, as, as healthy as it can be. And then also I rely heavily on our rangers for uh, support in our camps, so our environmental camps. So our rangers uh, provide a lot of logistical support, uh, first aid, emergency support uh, throughout our whole camp. The partnership with TSR rangers has been fantastic and I look forward to working with them um, even closer into the future. Most of the fruit trees here in the school garden here, they are from the um, TSRA. Um, the ones that they issue for us for um, the uh, tree planting day. So we got some um, five corner or star apple and um, lemon and orange. We got mango on that side and custard apple. Yeah, so when the school needs us to do some gardening, we just come and help them with their garden down here. What made us do, we can see the effect on the, in the community on the island, how the big tide take out the soil and it give us, it drive us to look after our island. It's sad to see it washed away in, in the big tide, king tide, so it, drive, it give us a drive to start revegetation. Our first, this wasn't here, we had tide just come up here and uh, we had wanted to protect the cultural site, which is up there, the local cemetery. 
Uh, so we started to revenge uh, of the native trees, uh, part of what we are doing. It, it meant so much to me as, as because I'm a woman ranger working with the guys and, and it's a challenge working with so many uh, guys, men, boys and um, it challenged us to, to step up and doing more what the boys can do and it challenged the women to get up in, and do, do what they can do and, and we proved that it just uh, some of our ladies in, in the ranger group right now in Torres, we proved that we can do something. We can, we can do what the guys can do, looking after the sea environment and the land environment. The place that I live in at Warab Island, it's a unique place in the Torres Straits, as the yeah, senior ranger uh, working the. I have been taught for looking after our community, the natural sustainable resource area, uh, revegetation, revegetating in and in Abtid Islands, also in the community we live in, and restoration of our cultural practice uh, for future generations to enjoy. Uh, we do um, reveg, also um, all the pests on weeds, also foreign fauna, even turtle, turtle nest, and also helping the community when there's um, big activities like um, beach cleanup, land patrol, and community cleanup. Well, the Lekinas, as we all know, it's a pest, and um, we're just trying to re eradicate them and. Um, most of the most of the lakinas we do like we we've actually cut cut and paste uh paint paint those lakinas and um just to and chip it as well like you save it for a couple of couple of couple of months then we actually we actually give back to the community as a put it in the garden i enjoy a lot um for most of the traveling um and learn new things um for, for example we went out to um Biodiversity at Saddle Island, I've learned a lot, and also at Badu, I've seen all um, new species that which I haven't seen before. It is a very interesting, the IPA, Indigenous Protected Area here at um, Waterbury and Purmagal. The ranger, like it is a part of them that they go around and protect the area and, and clean all the area as well and uh, all the different island that are around Purma and Warabe and it is it is very good we really appreciate for the job that they done for us there, there's more more better control of, 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 of the sea country and uh, more more knowledge have been passed through to community members regarding uh, pests and weeds that we have in the community things that we've, we've always we've always walked past and thought it's a normal plant or we've gone out to the sea, we really haven't taken any uh, notes of how much catch do we have in regards to turtle and dugong. And uh, with the rangers coming in and uh, assisting, assisting communities, not only the community itself, but working with uh, key organizations within the community, such as the council, it's, 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 uh, it's like the, the rangers are really, really respected within, within the community. Oh, yeah.